Oh hi, what do we think of my new filming area? I I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of turned me into a bit of a new woman or something. Hello beautiful, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here then, and you've potentially joined us at the best time. If you don't know about me, I come out of hibernation for September, October, November, December. I am an autumn, winter girl through and through. So today's video, as you probably guessed from the title and the whole reason you actually clicked on this video it's only a bloody home sense haul now i actually looked back through my channel and i realized i haven't done one of these since last october which is actually disgusting like i'm actually disgusted in myself how has it nearly been a year like that i'm a bad friend i'm a bad friend and i need to make it up to you by going to home sense a lot for the rest of the year. I feel like this haul is gonna be kind of a mini haul. I haven't got loads, but the bits I have got, I really wanted to show you. And as you guys know, I've been weekly vlogging. And honestly, this weekend, I have missed you all so much. Because I'm used to having the camera with me every day, I've been so excited to film this video because I've, I honestly feel like I've, I've missed you. I feel like I've got loads to tell you, but now it's not the time or the place. It's a, it's a home sense haul. Listen, if I didn't ramble for at least Wow, it says seven minutes. Definitely gonna have to cut some of that out. Um, if I didn't ramble for at least the first five minutes of the video, it wouldn't be a Gemma video. Stay true to yourself. My mum once told me, just be yourself. And I can't remember the rest of that line. Anyway, if you are new here, I would absolutely love for you to hit the subscribe button. I'm sure you're really gonna want to after that lengthy intro. Um, but I've got some really, really exciting content coming up for the next few months. If you don't know, get to know. I'm quite good at the old Christmas content. I'm just saying Christmas queen. I feel like, I feel like this is a little bit of a dramatic bag they've given me, to be honest, for like, not that bloody. It's quite heavy though. I mean, you would have thought I did a hell of a lot more damage than I did. I mean, I'm, I'm playing this down. I'm really playing this down. I did get quite a lot. Anyway, shh. Right, home sense haul. Get your cups of tea, get your snacks. We had a long, hard day at work. It's time to chill out, babe. It's time to put me on the TV. Don't be watching me on any phones or tablets. Like, put me on the TV. Even though when I watch myself on the TV, I... It kind of, like, weirds me out. But put me on the TV. Pop the kettle on. Light the candles. Get the blankets. And after the longest intro ever... Let's get straight into the haul. Oh my god, my cat is like currently laid on her back with her little head back and her paws like this and it's just the cutest thing in the whole world and I feel like I need to get her and just just get her to say hello. I feel, I feel like she needs to make an appearance on this home sense haul. Let me just grab her. You need to come and say hello, we've got guests. Hello. Say hello to our guests. Say hello to our guests. I ever love something so much? Well... So clearly that isn't reciprocated. I feel like it's only right to start with my new little things in my backdrop. I know right. They had these, they had Tom Ford ones, they had Vogue ones. I think they had a Dior one, but honestly, right, look at the Home Sense books. Now, I thought the Home Sense books were like kids books or like cookery books and stuff like that. No, no, no. I found this. I used to actually have almost this exact one, but it was a little bit bigger and a little bit, a little bit of a different style. Um, but when I moved house, it just went, it just disappeared. It probably ended up in the bloody skip. Um, but I was so happy to find this. I think these look so cute, just like on the side. I'm actually wanting to get the big Tom Ford box to go on a coffee table when I get one of those, because I just think they make any room look a little bit more luxe. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just think I love them so much. So this was £12.99. So if you are after these, definitely have a look in HomeSense. And TK Maxx might do them as well. Like, they're quite similar. Pretty much my whole backdrop is from HomeSense. This is the whole reason I went to HomeSense to get bits to dress my backdrop. So... Obviously, everyone knows the faux flowers in Home Sense are incredible. They do the most beautiful flowers, and I find they're really good price. So, so let's start with the vase. I know when you think of something in your mind, and then you go into the shop, and almost like the exact thing that you visualised is there. It's almost like I manifested this vase. Hashtag the secret, hashtag law of attraction. I manifested my dream vase. It was $7.99, and yeah. It's just, it's just a little textured white 
vase. So to go inside of my vase, I got a hella load of these. Now, in places like the range or like any other kind of home shops, I find individual flowers like kind of really, really expensive. Like in the range, these are like 5 dollars each. And when you've got to get a load, they do become really, really pricey. These were actually in the reduced section for £2. The originals were £2.99 so it wasn't a massive saving and looking back I kind of wish I'd gone for the brand new ones because let me show you for why I got one brand new one and as you can see it's like so white it's crisp it's in really good condition the ones that were in the reduced aisle they're kind of falling apart like I feel like they've been sat there for a very long time um which is fine like I'm not exactly going to be like swinging them around the room they're just going to sit in a vase but do you know what I mean they're kind of not the best quality so i wish i'd just been less of a cheapskate and gone for the brand new ones i've got the struggle of like trying to make these look nice again now in here listen right i've just spent about 10 minutes trying to rearrange these and why is it you can never ever ever get them back to how they were okay so when i say i bought a lot of candles i actually bought six candles that's quite excessive isn't it but this time of year i like to stock up on all of the candles and i feel like if you go to home sense and you don't buy a candle i'm very jealous of you because you must have very strong willpower not really a great idea so the first candle i bought was one of the olivia blake candles i love these purely because they look like joe malone like from a distance that is like so similar to Jo Malone, right? I've got these dotted about all over my house. I've got two in the bathroom, one in the living room. I love them. I just think they're really classic. I love like anything black and white. I think it looks really, really nice and classy. So this one is in scent Wild Mint and White Tea. It's just a really, really fresh, lovely fragrance. It's nothing too sweet. It's kind of like an everyday candle. I don't know about you, but I have to be in the mood for like sweet scents. Sometimes I just want to light a candle and I want my house to just smell really calming does that make sense i want it to smell really fresh really calming really clean just nice so this is a really gorgeous scent and this candle was 12.99 which to be honest i think is a really nice size especially when you do compare it to like joe malone a candle this size would be what like 60 70 quid so yeah i just think that is going to look really really pretty on the side i actually was a little bit pissed off with myself this morning because i sat down to film i lit the candle and i was like oh I wanted us to light it together because it's like the first time lighting the candle. Wanted to share that moment with you, but clearly I just was an eager beaver and couldn't wait. Okay, so I'm going to save the rest of the candles until the end. I'm going to get like the other bits out the way first. So next I picked up some tea towels. I feel like this is the definition of adult life when you get excited over new tea towels. Um, but hey ho, your girl's an adult now, so tea towel buying... Is where i'm at so these were four pounds 99 you get two in a pack i just thought these were really really nice i love anything like white and clean and these are for any of my friends watching any of my family watching who religiously come around my house and use my things that i have out for display these are for display these are not for drying your hands on they're not for wiping up bolognese sauce off the side and staining them these are for display these are to hang on my cooker look cute and not be touched you know what i mean so next i picked up a room spray this was completely influenced by my sister she told me that this was like a really really good brand um i think it's said like bahoma but when I actually got this out of the box and smelt it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's probably one of the nicest things I've ever smelt. And I don't say that lightly. My nose is very particular with what it likes. But this is absolutely delicious. I've actually already sprayed this on the sofa and it wasn't one of those like really short lived scents. I sat on my sofa this morning and I could actually still like, you know, when you get wafts of it and you're like, oh that smell is absolutely insane so yeah i picked one of these up i thought this would be cute just to like keep on the side of like the tv unit in the living room you know like the little mad cleaning sesh you like to have before people come around where you're hoovering away like you're puffing up your cushions you're lighting every candle in sight i thought this could be a new part of my little people are coming over Gemma spray it everywhere and choke them as they come in this was five pounds 99 which i actually think is a really good price for like the size it's like a really a nice size what i want you to do on this next bit is pause the video and comment below what you think i bought next if you know me if you've been with me for a while if you've seen my other home sense videos you will know the first place actually mm, i feel like this is like the third place i go i feel like i always head towards the faux flowers the candles and then this is like my third place i always end up buying far too many of them 
I have so many of them, more than one person needs. Um, but I'm obsessed. What is it? Comment below. But obviously I picked up a 2020 calendar because it's the middle of the year and you can never be too early. To be fair, this is a 17 month planner, so it actually starts now, um, which I really, really love. I don't know, there's something about new planners that just make me feel like I've got my life together. Like, even if I don't write in it, the fact I've got it, I literally feel like I have got my life together. Like, I am an organised queen, I know exactly what I'm doing every minute of every day. Definitely not true, but I don't know, I just love a fresh new planner, I loved this. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I think I already have this planner in marble. This looks very familiar. This is probably why I really like it. The beginning of each month, it's got like your goals, birthdays, anniversaries, and then you've got your August to-dos, which I just think is a really good way of like staying on top of things, like planning your week. As you guys know, I love to have like a planning session every single Sunday evening. I like to know exactly what I'm doing that week. And yeah, it just, I don't know, it makes me feel really productive. I feel like if I don't plan my week, I'm really unproductive and kind of plod along and procrastinate and put things off. And yeah, I find my life is just a whole lot better when I've planned it. And this was £9.99, which I don't think is bad at all for a 17 month planner. They have loads of these, like they have plain ones, they have leather ones, they have marble ones. So to go with my new planner, I picked up some matching pens because is there anything more satisfying? I used to be obsessed with pencil cases when I was younger. Me and my friend Jess, we literally used to collect pencil cases. I remember we used to go to the shop like every single weekend and get a new pencil case. Like they were my thing. I used to love them so much. Um, I feel like that's now why I'm kind of obsessed with still getting stationery. Even though I don't really use it that much anymore, I just love having it. So... When I picked these up, I originally thought they were pens, but I've just realised they're mechanical pencils, which I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I haven't, like, written with a pencil since art GCSEs, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I just, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but they look pretty and they go with my planner, so... And these were £3.99 and again they had these in loads of different designs. I feel like these would be really nice as like a little present. You know on birthdays or Christmas when you like put together a little like box for someone. I feel like a little stationery set like pens or a notebook is always like a really lovely gift. Right moving on to candles. So oh actually no. I've got one last purchase to show you before we get all deep in the candles. I got myself some pink Himalayan salt. I have wanted this for a really long time. My mum's got some, my sister's got some. I was like, hey guys, I feel like kind of left out here. Why have you all got pink salt? Like, what gives? So, I don't really know what else more to say about that. So, first up, I got two more of the Olivia Blake candles. I thought these would look really, really nice, like, in the bathroom. I love, like, matchy-matchy. Like, on any shelves or windowsills or anything, I love having two of the same thing. I got these in the scent Tangerine and... Patchul Patchulu. I'm unsure how to say this word here, but they smell incredible. They were £4.99 each. Oh my god, yummy. And I would also like to know, why do they stick the sticker here? Like, does anyone know how to get the stickers off without leaving any residue? Because, honestly, there are very few things in this life that make me want to throw things out the window. But trying to peel this off here when it leaves all the white marks is one of those things that just tips me over the edge. It's too much for me to handle. So if anyone's got any tips on how to remove these without leaving the stupid residue, please comment below because that would be much appreciated. Can you tell I've got a bit of a thing about black and white candles at the moment? So this next one is just, I don't know, it's all about, do you know what? It's more about the packaging for me sometimes over the scent. Is that a bit weird? I think because a lot of my candles I kind of like... Does anyone get, like, candle phobia? Like, when I buy a new candle, I actually don't want to light it. Like, I just like to keep it there. And I think, oh, I like that when I've got people round. I'll like that when, you know, it's a special occasion. And likelihood is I never have people round and it's never a special occasion. So it just never gets lit. So I love this because I thought it was really, really simple. I love storms. I love a storm, like, so much. I love laying in bed and, like here in the storm it's just so cozy so this kind of as weird as it sounded reminded me of storms like looking at it i was like oh love storms anyway i'm talking utter rubbish so this is called a coconut blend wax candle now the scent it's almost like sherbet -y. it kind of smells like lemon sherbet it doesn't smell like coconut so i feel like they're lying to me um but yeah again it's a really fresh lovely scent really zesty 
little zesty number and this little guy was £6.99 so last and definitely not least if I came out of home sense without an autumn candle listen someone needs to turn me back around and put me back in there and ask me if I'm feeling okay because that would because that would just be weird so I picked up two of these little candles they're called harvest pumpkin and when you think of how autumn would smell well you don't even need to think about it you just need to go and buy one of these harvest pumpkin candles because it's cinnamony it almost smells a little bit toffee -y. it's just oh my god that smell anything cinnamon i literally feel like singing jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way i just love them so much i thought these would look really really nice on my little tv unit as soon as september hits Actually, I googled this the other day, like, official autumn starts on, I think it's September the 23rd, but we all know I like to start things early, so September the 1st, autumn starts for Gemma. So, my loves, that is going to go ahead and conclude my little mini home sense haul. I am aware that I didn't buy loads, but I'm kind of waiting. I'm holding off until, like, October time when they've got all of the beautiful pumpkins in. I mean, they had quite a few, but they didn't have, like, the rose gold ones. Do you know what ones I mean? Like, they didn't have... They didn't have their biggest selection so yeah i'm gonna wait until october i want to get like some new furniture and stuff as well i popped on my instagram story this really beautiful this little blush pink stool with a gold base i didn't buy it purely because i literally have nowhere to put it like i have nowhere to put it but i feel like i want to switch up all my decor in the next few months so if you love a bit of interior design or you love like homeware hauls then stay tuned because there's going to be so many more over the next few months I've got a little Ikea trip planned soon, which I'm planning on taking you guys with me. I really want to get back into doing like the new in videos because I know that you really like them. I know as well, to me, I don't have a HomeSense or an Ikea locally. So I do like to watch people's videos to kind of see what's new in, whether it's worth me making a trip. So I really want to start doing those for you guys. So in the next few weeks, there's going to be a new in Ikea and a new in HomeSense video because... I just find them really, really helpful and a new in Primark because I know you guys love those. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and comment below anything you'd like to see. And if you are new here, then don't forget to hit subscribe. So it's time to say goodbye. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of like separation anxiety at the moment because I've been weekly vlogging. Like I'm so used to talking to you every day that when I don't, I'm a bit like, oh, come back. I love you all so much. I hope you're all having the best week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.